Hey you guys, it's Bright Smith. We're here to talk for just a couple of minutes. I'm not going to keep you all very long, but I want to talk about who was Alicia's lack of safety really affecting aside from her kids. So if you're interested in hearing a few of my thoughts, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so let's just, you know, talk about the obvious. If you're clicking on this video, you know who the Dr. D Dozen is. They have a big platform here on YouTube as well as other social media platforms. And anytime I talk about Alicia, whether I'm talking about something that's not super important or something as important as oversharing medical info, telling the internet that some of your children have to wear adult undergarments because of prior medical issues. Um, is pasta a comfort food for both? She has um, autism, spectrum disorder, sensory processing disorder, oral dysphagia, and autism and food aversion. So he was actually on, oh, and reflux. So he was actually formula fed, primarily formula fed until he was four years old. And then he kind of learned at that point what foods were like his safe foods, like the foods that didn't cause reflux or like honestly, oral dysphagia is where when he's swallowing, it's, um, he doesn't always swallow. It was a swallow study thing. Um, so yeah, he has learned over time to just figure out what foods he can manage, his stomach can manage, his reflux can manage. And we just listened to him because like I said, he was on formula until he was four. We thought, we didn't know when he was gonna ever not be on formula. Um, Cross country race is at five, but he has to come home. What time is it? He'll be home in about five minutes, and he's got to change into his uniform, jersey, I don't know, whatever it's called for cross country. It's like called a different thing in every sport. And uh, get we got to get his spikes in his new race shoes. Get that. No matter the importance of the topic, one of the common arguments that I hear is. Why does it matter? They're her kids. Why do you care? And I care because it's public content and I care because I am not some kind of self-centered jerk who looks at things that are affecting other people and I just don't care. That's just not the way that I operate. If I see it and it's out in public and it's on social media, then I'm going to care. And sometimes I voice my, um, you know, not so important opinions along with things that are really important. But I was thinking about this and I also had a conversation with one of my subscribers on Instagram and she was talking and I don't want to give a whole lot of detail, but my conversation with her is what sparked the idea for this video that I'm doing right now. She gave me a little bit of a backstory and essentially um someone that she knows goes to school with alicia's kids and rides the same bus someone that she knows in her life um and this was immediately one of those aha moments for me because this is something i've been talking about for a while when alicia wants to tell everybody what school district what school you know her husband's over here wearing the high school mascot everybody knows where her kids go to school by her being so reckless and creating these really toxic stands and fans that are so obsessed with her children let's just say and this is just a scenario that i think of and it doesn't even take me very long to think of this let's just say that someone shows up at her kids school and is so oddly obsessed with them because Alicia allows weirdos to be obsessed with her kids and she nurtures these relationships we know this she's not only putting her child in harm's way but she's also putting other children that might be in that class might be on that school bus might be at that bus stop in harm's way as well because people online do not know boundaries at times. 
and this has been a really long-standing issue. This is not just something with the Doherty Dozen. This has been going on in celebrity culture for decades and decades and decades, and it will continue for decades and years and years and years, long past my lifetime and your lifetime. It's just always going to be a thing. But to say that, oh, they're her kids, it's none of your business, why do you care, is such a stupid stance to, you know, have, in my opinion. Because you are saying that you don't care if creeps know where her children go to school. And not only do creeps know where her kids go to school, but the creep could also show up where other children are going to school. And those kids might be protected by their parents. And by Alicia oversharing and allowing these people to become so oddly obsessed with her kids, now she's also putting other kids at risk of having a creepy person show up at the playground or at the field day or at the football game. I'm not saying that she should take all of the, um, you know, fallout for something that could happen or may not happen. But this is why I say all the time, just care more. Just care more. I know that crazy people are out there, but when you are nurturing these parasocial relationships and giving people so much information, you're giving them more access to your children. And if you are okay with giving weirdos more access to your children, then I think that you need a reality check. I just don't understand how, as a parent, I don't, I, I can't reconcile being okay with giving so much info and access to kids. That's something that I will never be able to understand. I won't be able to reason with it. And I don't see my stance changing on that. Because I always kind of use the analogy, if you're out at a restaurant and some creepy person is staring at your kids at the dinner table, most people would be weirded out by that, right? Why is that person staring at my kids? Why is this person making weird faces at my kids? Like they're really paying close attention to my kids. If you would not want that situation to happen in public, and if you would be weirded out by it, then why are you giving strangers all of this unedited access to your children? Allowing your kids to have their own social media pages, allowing your kids to, um, you know, have all of their info spread just so that you can have a title for your video that's gonna get more views. To me, that is someone who's morally bankrupt, and that's just my opinion. And if people are going to behave this way online, the public is going to have opinions about it. I just so happen to have a channel where I share my opinions. Some of them are, you know, uh, liked by a lot of people, and some of them are hated. And that's okay. But I know for a fact that when it comes to the safety of her kids and the oversharing, I know that I am not making a mountain out of nothing. This is not just like built up speculation and like, oh, you know, did you see what so-and-so? It's not a bunch of conspiracy theories that are being sewn together to make this possible catastrophe. These are all very real life situations and instead of taking a little bit of time to reflect and say, hmm, why are so many people upset that I am showing my kids school bus and where they go to school and vlogging other kids that are at the school and, you know, telling people a week ahead of time where my kids are. Instead of reflecting and thinking about how it could impact not only her kids, but other children at the school, she just continues to do it. And if she doesn't care, and she's going to continue to show that she doesn't care, 
I'm going to continue to cover it just like I do with other influencers and other family vloggers. But I really want to know how do y'all feel about this? How would you feel if your kids went to school with the Doherty kids? I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. Um, having an online presence and also being mindful is important. You cannot, you know, never say never, but I do think that there are certain measures that can be taken to at least show a little bit of effort, especially when you have young ones that are counting on you for their safety, not only when they're at home, but also when they're at school. So those are going to be my thoughts for tonight. If you like the video, please leave a like in the comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.